kids, I'm Jeff Fiorentino, and I'm in Jillian's Section 2 class at 1 p.m. at Full Sail University. And for my Fundamentals of Physics project, I have chose to build the galvanometer. Now, first step before any science experiment is to put on your safety glasses, because eye injury is always a possibility. Now, we chose to build a galvanometer, and basically, by definition, a galvanometer is any uh, device with a rotary needle that detects magnetic fields uh, or electrical currents and measures it. Um, so basically, what we're going to do is build this device, hook a battery up to it, and hopefully uh, send enough current through our wire to create a magnetic field that overwhelms the magnetic tip on the compass and forces it to point in a direction that's not north. So here we go. For the wire, we're going to send electrons down. All we need is some tin foil, but in order to get a big enough wire, we're going to have to take some tin foil and we need a piece that's about 36 inches by 24 inches and they're going to fold it up until we have this nice thin fat 36 inch wire. Now what we want to do is build a box to put our compass in. That way our wire isn't directly resting on the compass and we have enough space to wrap the wire around it. Remember kids, always get your parents' help when playing with scissors or doing any type of experiment. Now we're going to place our compass into our box that we've made for it and we're going to wrap our wire around it making sure there's enough space for the battery's terminals sticking out on the side. Now when I hook this D battery up as the power source, electrons will flow through the aluminum foil makeshift conductor that we've made creating a uh, magnetic field going east and west because of the moving electrons through this aluminum foil over here and that force will be greater than uh, the natural magnetic field pointing north. There we go. As you can see the needle now points east instead of north. Take out the battery and it returns to its true north position. Well, that's how you build a simple galvanometer. Thank you for your time, and I hope you have a great week. Until next time, have fun.